hello friends now in this video i am going to show you how we can add logout system in our user side and admin side so now first of all here you can see i am going to log in so yeah here i am going to log in now here we need to give link of logout page so we need to create one logout page also so we need to add first on user side so this is our user side and we have this logout.php already we write all the code inside this logout.php only we need to bind with our menu so i'm going to open this header and now here in logout we can bind logout.php and here also we have also this logout so we need to find where it where it is so you can find direct like this yeah so we have two logout menu inside our page one is this and one is this so you can see in both place we bind this logout.php so this is fine now we need to add conditions in all the page means user is not login then they cannot open user side so we need to check first of all inside dashboard yeah so here we need to write condition if not is set dollar underscore session username then we are going to forward on login page so here script type text javascript and here we need to write window.location yeah login.php so we need to copy this code i am going to open first dashboard.php yeah here we are getting error uh, yeah because we did not cheat on uh, click on the select exam that's why no not a problem yeah so i'm going to copy this we need to bind on this select exam so where is our select exam uh, yeah here already we added this so this page we added in last results so we need to open last results here we need to check we had condition or not yeah we did not add it here so i copy this here and then we need to open our header.php and here we need to check yeah here we need to bind select exam.php yeah so select exam.php is working when i click on this dashboard is open so here also we added these conditions so that is perfect now i am going to log out and now if i am going to open dashboard.php dashboard should not be open you can see dashboard is not open directly forwarded on login.php now we need to do one more thing here is you can see when you write path up to this only it will open this type of template so first of all user side now we don't need this index.html so i am going to delete this yeah and now here we need to add one php file index.php and here we need to mention script type text javascript and window.location is equal to login.php yeah so now you can see when i am going to open this way what happened yeah when we are going to open this way it will directly forward on login.php so you are not getting your old template here you can see so we apply these things on user side now we have to implement these things on admin side so first of all here i am going to open admin and enter you can see login page is open so this is perfect here now i am going to write username password so i am going to close these things and admin side first of all i need to open index page so it is our login page here we need to write session start and here we need to store 
value inside our session so here do underscore session admin is equal to yeah dollar username now we need to write condition in all page but before that here you can see this is the html pages that i am going to delete first i am going to delete this html pages from admin panel yeah i delete that now here we need to create one logout page so i am going to create one logout.php and here we need to write session start session destroy and now we need to forward on our login page so script type that's javascript and here we need to write window.location is equal to index.php now we need to bind this with our header in menu so in menu we have here logout so here i am going to bind logout.php right now we don't need to do anything on this dashboard so i am going to delete this dashboard link from here and in index.php we are going to forward on this page when user is logging so here also we are going to change this all things we are going to do on admin side yeah that's fine now and here also in that page we take session also so here we open this exam underscore category dot php so in exam underscore category we are going to write here session condition so here session start and here we are going to write condition if not is set then we are going to forward we are going to forward on index.php yeah that is fine now i am going to copy this code and we are going to paste in this all pages so here if session start is not mentioned you need to mention yeah i did inside edit exam edit questions session start and after this including we are going to paste here yeah that's fine delete.php here not needed if you want to add then you can add here let me add so nobody can open this page also directly delete option yeah that's fine now edit exam now edit option yeah now edit option images now exam category yeah here already added footer not needed header not needed index not needed logout not needed here also needed yeah that's fine so we added this now we are going to check here here admin admin exam category page is open now i can edit and i can do anything whatever i want to do but after logout oh here we need to give logout link so in header here added but here we need to give link so i'm going to find where is another logout yeah here yeah sorry here we need to write logout.php yeah that's fine 
now this it jumped to the root php now i am going to log out so you can see we forwarded on this index.php and now i am trying to open this page directly you can see this page will not open now because we added session and we added session condition also so this way you can apply your uh, session time uh, session logout session destroy it means you are going to add logout system in your project so now you can see this is quizzes online quiz is totally completed everything is working now so you can enjoy this tutorial so we are going to complete this tutorial and now in one or two days i am coming with one new project thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it maximum maximum please share it maximum thank you so much for watching my video